perform live, use that big brain of yours and follow us on Twitch. We do things live there sometimes. Let's set the stage. Two households, both alike in dignity, in fair Verona, where we lay our scene. From ancient grudge break to new mutiny, where civil blood makes civil hands unclean. From forth the fatal loins of these two foes, a pair of star-crossed lovers take their life, <laughs> whose misadventured piteous overthrows do with their death bury their parents' strife. The fearful passage of their death-marked love and continuance of their parents' rage, which but their children's end not could remove, is now the two hours' traffic of our stage. The which, if you with patient ears attend, what here shall miss, our toil shall strive to mend. Welcome to Heat Wave! <laughs> <laughs> I wish that Jairus' whole segment was just him, like, reading Romeo and Juliet. I, I mean, that's up to him. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, it's his 15 minutes to do whatever he wants. Uh, anyways, I mean, hi, has all I'm, of I'm Michelle Belcher, and I'm joined with Brit. And What? <laughs> oh, wow, I just said your real name. What are you doing? You bleep that out. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck you! Might as well just put my address on the internet. All right, Brittany sat in the wild. You tried to dox her. You mean the Jesus. you mean the ninety Brittany Mills in our city? Yeah. <laughs> But you're right. Okay. Brittany Saturn. Hey, Michelle's trying to get me to talk about buying a fucking house like people can't look up that publicly available information and then show was, up at my fucking house. I, I straight up asked after that and said, do you don't want to talk about it? And yeah, I said no. And I never came back to that subject again. And now here you are bringing it up yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, guess who that motherfucker is? It's Jairus Mitchell. <laughs> Once more from the top. Prologue. <laughs> Two households, both alike in dignity, okay. in Fair Verona, where we lay our scene. From ancient grudge, break to new I, mutiny, can we, where civil blood will makes you guys civil help hands me here? unclean. <laughs> From forth, the fatal loins of these two foes. You gotta get there faster. star-crossed <laughs> lovers take I was going to include life, it the first time, but now. Whose misadventured, I, piteous <laughs> overthrows do with their death, bury their parents' strife. I'm, I'm throwing virtual roses. The fearful roses. passage of their death-marked love <laughs> and continuance of their parents' rage, which but their children's end not could be removed is now the two hours traffic of our stage the which if you with patient ears attend what here shall miss our toil shall strive to mend wow he did it he did it again Bravo. he sure did it again congratulations also uh, Hutch is here <laughs> yeah Hutch is here did you know that it's Bra Chris it's Bravo. Hutch Hutchison Bravo! <laughs> Marvelous! <I> ha <laughs> Encore! <laughs> so we're back after a two week break, Scene and uh, Jairus has joined Verona, the community theater a public club. Place. <laughs> Enter Samson and Gregory of the House Capulet, armed with swords and bucklers. <laughs> Samson, Gregory, oh my word, will not carry coals. Gregory, no, for then we shall be colliers. Samson, I mean, and we be in collier, will draw. <laughs> I fucking. I feel like ugh. this would. Yeah, it's terrible this. to just read it. It's better to see it like act at, <laughs> acted out on like stage, but like reading yeah. Shakespeare is so terrible. I hated it. <laughs> I mean, you yeah, gotta let's just put up the entry scene of Romeo plus Juliet. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, I John really Liguizamo appreciate how fast tough. you were for me jumping off of set up the scene. That was I'm really impressed. It was like right then and there you were ready. Yeah, I had that locked and loaded. <sighs> you know, <laughs> I'm still impressed. That's that's why. So Michelle gets really pissed at me because sometimes I do the clacky clacky, and that's what the clacky clacky allows me to do. <laughs> The clacky clacky can be done on your phone because it adds so much extra time for me in work. I've got so many monitors in front of me, though, Michelle. Yeah, but you are le legitimately adding, like, hours of work to my workflow. <laughs> Although you do end up always sounding the best because you I have to I go through your audio second writers. by second. <laughs> Don't lie. It's because of those dulcet yeah, I've got tones. an ancient... 
I've got a USB typewriter connected to my computer, and that's how I type. <laughs> the sad they thing is, I know those exist. Make those. those exist. I used to sell a typewriter at Michael's yep. in the like scrapbooking yeah. aisle. No way. I was like, who the fuck? <laughs> the book is- aisle of Michael's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dude, books I- and how to make books. Here's a typewriter. <laughs> I hated restocking that aisle. It was terrible. Well, everything's like super heavy, right? <laughs> yeah, the paper was really heavy and I just hated it. What's in the book aisle at Michael's? The scrapbook bills? The, oh, the scrapbooking okay. aisle. Oh, okay. Yeah. We also had a book aisle too. It was just full of coloring books. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, coloring. Man. It's a craft too. Yeah. When you're so anxious that the only thing that can calm you down is going back to fifth grade and or five years old and being like, you know what, I'm just going to color inside the lines. That's a bit of bi- a bit of chaos that I can you know, I can organize. When the adult coloring books first came out, I was like, oh, this sounds really cool. Like I loved coloring as a kid. Maybe this will be fun as an adult. And I got one, and then I started to color, and I was like, wow, what a big waste of fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, never mind. That was something that was fun when I was seven. <laughs> uh, for me, like I tried one of those like interactive apps coloring books where all you have to do is touch an empty space and fill it with color. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, this was fun for like I, I got done within like a minute uh, and a half. Yeah. Mario yeah. Like, Paint, yeah, somehow, like that one too. Oh, Mar- Mario <laughs> Paint is <laughs> that one's different. That one's Michelle, way that more fun. somehow feels like more of a waste of time than blowing an hour coloring an actual thing. <laughs> no, uh, it was. It was absolutely more of a waste of time, you- even though it was uh, less time. Was there an yeah. option to print it out and hang it on the refrigerator? <laughs> you could save it as you could, you could save it as a PDF. So yes. <laughs> This is just a picture. Oh, did you color this? That's really good. Yeah, I just touched the screen where there were empty spaces. Basically. (laughs) It was one of the saddest things I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. It was great. I deleted it, and I was glad that I just saw the one ad and didn't pay for it. (laughs) I was always a fan of the Connect the Dots activities, because I like instruction. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Hutz wants to do something and know exactly what he's doing the whole way through that process and then be at the end of it and it's done and he's just like I've got a feeling of accomplishment <laughs> I did this thing I connected all of the dots Look except at for this one what is this one spare dot <laughs> oh never mind it's a crumb <laughs> <laughs> how did you know I was always eating cookies while I was doing my <laughs> Connect the dots. <laughs> Why wouldn't you eat cookies while you're connecting dots? Oh man, this makes me want cookies, like real cookies, though. Like, Brittany, we should make some cookies. Uh, you can make some cookies. Okay, I I I got a um a dispenser for York peppermint patties from BJ's. Wait a minute. Oh, I what? thought you were gonna say a cookie dispenser. What? And I was yeah, trying me to too. Out what Wait, that would do you have to like. put a quarter in it though? No, no, it's that. It's not like an actual dispenser, <laughs> but. <laughs> It, so like it, you can like pull out like this little like trough, and they can they sort of fall down into it, and then they have like mm-hmm. in the top corner you can put your price on it. Um, I've I've charged I'm charging sixty nine <laughs> cents per. Probably a little steep, Did but you that yeah. Raid huh. a restaurant or that's, something. That's a product that we should make. Would be a home vending machine and mm-hmm. sell it as a way to save money in the most t- tedious way. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fucked up uh, piggy bank right there. One year, my mom yeah. got Michelle like a candy dispenser yeah. for Christmas, and then I think, I think it was Jarris and Alexander. Uh-huh. Like they, they got really it. drunk and they just threw Skittles across my living room, and then they wrestled into my Christmas tree and broke an ornament. <laughs> Yeah, that was Christmas Day. That was, that was a my really birthday. fucking weird night. That was when Alexander used to get really drunk and then he wanted to wrestle people. <laughs> <laughs> and even if you didn't want to wrestle, too bad. You were going to wrestle. We streamed that. That was the situation that I was in. I did not want to wrestle, yeah. but I had no say in it. <laughs> we were streaming. We were streaming a video game because at the time I had like a tradition of streaming on my birthday. I went to bed early. <laughs> 
you just left. As soon as the Skittles started flying, you, you went upstairs and went to bed. Throwing Skittles, and you were still trying to play the video game. I was drunk too because we just got back from sushi, and I was fucked. Yeah, yeah I we was... get fighty drunk when we get sushi. <laughs> On Crimbo. And I was the DD, so I was not drunk at all. And I was like, well, this is fucking stupid. <laughs> Let me go to bed. <laughs> yeah. I just left the Skittles out on the floor. Frank was playing with them. <laughs> That's, that probably exacerbated the frustration the next day. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> oh, boy. That was fun, though. I really enjoy... Uh, That's actually a tradition I kind of miss. We did that for a while where um i think what me and you we did it what three or four years something like that in a row i do not remember what you're talking about at all i'm talking about going I... to go get sushi on christmas day oh okay, okay yeah i'm uh, sorry i thought yes. you were talking about streaming not wrestling yeah. and throwing skittles at each other I, I thought, that happened once i thought michelle also meant streaming on christmas and that was my least favorite part no. of anything no yeah because on christmas i am exhausted from dealing with uh like having the the public face on with family and stuff yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so it's just no like, fuck that noise. cool we, now we, i have to do it with the whole internet <laughs> no we did that and uh I, I learned very quickly like nope don't care a lot of people do birthday streams and like at, uh, also after that Brittany and i just we start doing christmas <clears throat> streams and that was like that well, was enough for ex- me extra hard for your birthday because you're on christmas if you were born any other day of the year it'd be no big deal because yeah. nothing's going on but because our families live across the state mm-hmm. we normally have to drive for hours mm-hmm. or some shit mm-hmm. and then just the extra exhaustiveness of christmas and then also it's your birthday so mm-hmm. it's like we should just move your birthday I mean, I'm okay with that. Uh, I I had a birthday one year. My birthday, uh, oddly enough, they moved it to another fucking holiday. I don't know why, but they did. But my parents... What holiday? uh, It was Halloween. Um, I had a Halloween birthday party where my parents made like uh, a spooky fun house in our house. And all the kids came over and they got to go through the haunted house and got candy, bopped for apples. It was fun. Mm. So like, Was that just because you'd constantly complained about having a Christmas birthday? That was my first birthday party ever. I think I was like six Mm. or seven years old. So I've had like three or four. (laughs) <laughs> when you say birthday party, do you consider like your family having a cake for you a party or no? no. Oh, you mean like I had friends, friends over. over and did stuff. Oh, well, my first birthday was when I was 16. So suck it. Hey, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Some of us are doing better than others, I guess. So. Weird I, thing about Brittany. She can't remember a year before her 16th birthday. So <laughs> fun fact. <laughs> She might have just been born 16 years old. I might have been. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I I have a question, Jaris. How is it yes. that every episode we do this podcast, uh, you are really great at just shooting the shit for like 15 minutes? Because I enjoy all of your company and <laughs> like talking to you i didn't recognize that you'd like theoretically started our time because of the sloppy intro it was super I sloppy assumed that this was still just uh like the pre-work oh no Brittany said the timer and you started doing <laughs> romeo and juliet that's the, that's like i'm going right from when that started i'm <laughs> sorry jaris um if you want to talk about oh, what you would plan you have a minute and a half left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask y'all what streaming platforms you're using more in this weird time and okay. which ones you've decided that you fucking hate. Like Hulu is fucking exhausting, even though there's some cool shit on it. Yeah, it's I just thought, all of the ad saturation. Hard time, what like, about y'all? I have a hard time navigating Hulu, too. Um, yeah, I was, fuck Hulu. I was telling Michelle the other day that it's weird. I don't add... Like, all of these streaming platforms, they let you add to, like, a list. Um, but the only one I actually use is uh, Netflix. It's the easiest mm-hmm. one to go back to your list. But all the other ones, I think, are really hard to, like, find my list again. Well, mm-hmm. I, so. so, actually, Netflix is still exhausting for me because they, they used to show, at, at least on the web, um, when shit expires... And w- once they went to the mm. um, the uh, the uh, the box art view, um, you can switch back on the web, but you can't on you know everything else. You can't tell when shit's mm. leaving, and I hate that so. Uh, 
So many fucking <laughs> things take away your stuff without telling you, like, giving you a countdown of some sort. HBO yeah. does it uh, okay. Like, they, they give you, like, they say, hey, stuff's leaving this month, but they don't tell you when. They used to tell you when. And blah! I, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> That's just feeding into Hutch's FUD anxiety. <laughs> Gonna give us five minutes. You could go to BuzzFeed. They probably have a person who uh, goes around and looks up all these, all this information. They'll tell you what's leaving for the month and what's coming. What's coming? Yeah, month. there's always but, something. But like they that. don't tell me exactly <laughs> what's. While in my you're queue. there, you can figure out. <laughs> you know. I mean, that's true. You just have and, to know. <laughs> yeah. And then while you're figuring that out, you can also figure out which Dis- Disney princess you are. <laughs> Hutch is Mulan. I'm done with that. I mean, <clears throat> at least someone made a man out of him. So, <laughs> what? Uh. Uh. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? That's one of the songs for Mulan. Uh. <laughs> Why is that the place you went? <laughs> Just, is that the only song that you remember from Mulan? It's is there another the only song? song I remember from Mulan. <laughs> is there another song? That's... But I'm not the one that opened with Hutch being as swift as the Corsic River. I, uh, well... You know what? Jairus is a magician. He's an emotional magician. <laughs> an emotional magician. Yeah, he... He is really great at pointing the blame and then continuing the the problem. <laughs> <laughs> hey, as a white man, that's part of my responsibility. <laughs> it's been fine tuned at this point. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, for me, I would say my least favorite is uh, Amazon Prime Video. Yeah, that one's really bad uh, because m- almost everything that they advertise is something you have to buy, <laughs> and then if you see a little tiny strip. Uh, on the corner that says Prime on it. Oh, that's free. Okay, cool. And it's always yeah. some random bullshit that you don't want to watch. <clears throat> and the list and everything else is super slow. But at the same time, what I like about it is that you can rent movies, and it's usually always available, no matter what you think of. So that's nice, but that costs money, of course. <laughs> but I also like Amazon Prime is kind of like an extra freebie because I'm I use you just pay for that for the shipping yeah for the shipping and, and whatnot. the movies are included so and I'm like cool <laughs> but that's my least favorite Hulu's probably right behind that one that's probably the one that I pay for intentionally that I I only watch we got it for Brittany mostly you got it so you could watch TV shows and there's a couple Hulu? of TV- yeah, yeah. Um, no, it was a bundle at the time with Spotify. I was already paying for Spotify oh, Premium, okay. so it like came with it for like a dollar or some shit. But uh, now they've looped us into paying like for it as well as Premium, and I need to figure out a way to bundle them again. Okay, so yeah, because we got we've got HBO Max, we got Disney Plus, Netflix, and I actually pay for YouTube because I hate. <sighs> fucking hate, fancy i hate advertisements <laughs> on youtube there's like i listen to asmr and then you'll be like in the middle i'll be going to sleep to asmr and then like blah, 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 the thing and then right at the end of the video and i'm just like okay no I let's can't, play I can't raid shadow legends <laughs> oh my <laughs> pro God. strat pro strat look for the ones that are 10 hours long and don't have any uh breaks in the middle of them yeah 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 the, or just fucking download it so what I've just yeah, there's that. Um, I just also I've gotten to the point though. I'm so used to YouTube without ads. I don't really care. <clears throat> I just like yeah, gonna keep using this. For a while, I would like before I was added into the family account, I would just watch YouTube like a normal person, and she would be like, "Why the fuck do you have so many ads?" <laughs> <laughs> it pissed me off. And I'm like, off. just give me it, give it a minute. It'll that is pass. a wild, <laughs> wild thing for a person who is like, "Let's make some stuff and put it on YouTube." Yeah, exactly. I don't. <laughs> I don't even make money. Or someone who has a degree in advertising and graphic design. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I fucking Fuck hate ads, ads on YouTube. <clears throat> I honestly I hate ads on just about everything, but uh, I've just gotten to that point. Especially Hulu, because Hulu has five ads. Sometimes you get lucky <coughs> though, and they won't play ads. Mm-hmm. If, like every time we watch Sailor Moon, it's been really good about not playing any advertisements. Yeah, it's only happened a couple it, times. So. You don't know. It's just a glitch in the system, I, I guess. I um, I'm really annoyed by Funimation's UI. It's very slow. 
Um, sometimes the next episode thing will jump ahead like 20 episodes. What? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I, I would... So, I started watching the Danganronpa anime. Um... And, mm-hmm. like, the first episode, or second episode <laughs> that it showed me, it jumped to the death of a major character, and I was so confused. <laughs> I was like, wow, is this, this, is this thing opening with, with this? This is insane. Why? And I realized, oh, no, the app fucked up. It just ruined a, a, a super, like, pivotal plot point. It's, like, it's, it's trying to recreate the experience of watching television shows on syndication Mm -hmm. where sometimes they just release them like have them out of order and you're like what the fuck i feel like i missed a lot of Mm. stuff (laughs) Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yep god i don't miss those Um, times (laughs) good old inuyasha that's how i watch that show all the fuck over the place inuyasha (laughs) part of that anime beginner pack watching gundam wing because i was just like i don't know what's going on anymore Mm -hmm. all right Mm -hmm. whatever yeah, Toonami, uh, to, uh, to its credit, it did do things in order, but if you missed a single day sometime, or more, you were pretty fucked. And it'd be like, oh, it's going to be three months until it gets back to that arc, so. Yeah. <laughs> it, it made going through the, the, the Frieza saga real, real mm. excruciating. <laughs> yes, it did. I remember those days. <laughs> but, they, well, but they also had Sailor uh, Moon before it. Which which was also great. Hell yeah. That was the reason why I got into Sailor Moon. I got into Sailor Moon because it was before DBZ. <clears throat> and the, they did the they did the title song as the ending credits. And then I was just like, I would catch it. And I was like, this song fucking is banging as hell. So I started watching Sailor Moon too. This song slaps. It does. <laughs> hell yeah. Brittany, are you singing it in your head currently? What? Oh, I'm singing it in my head. Yeah, sorry. I was singing it in my head, and I didn't hear what you said. (laughs) She had to finish. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Well, uh, sorry to make your your topic so short, (laughs) Jairus. I'll dab for you, though. There you go. Bye. Bye. Like, comment, subscribe.